On this Ableton tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can change your time signature in Ableton. This is super easy to do. I have my track pulled up, We Wish You a Merry Christmas. This is a Christmas remix I did. I'll show you a little bit of it. I know, some shameless self-promotion. And as you notice, this is in 3-4, which is the original. And then I switch it to 4-4 four, four, and I have this drop. Kind of like a Mumuton remix. My CPU is going crazy because I'm playing this. There's a lot going on. And of course, I'm recording this as well. Starting from scratch, I just deleted those time signatures. All I'm gonna do, and it's super easy, is I'm gonna go to the point that I wanna add the uh, time signature in. So let's say I wanna start it here, which is what I did. All I'm gonna do is right click, insert time signature change, and boom. So it's gonna start in three, four, hit enter. I'm gonna bring the intro back, right? So it's like that. Which makes it a little bit easier to move any uh, locator out of the way. I have locators in all my songs. And then as you can see on the drop, or actually on the build, it goes to four, four. So I'm gonna move this out of the way. I'm gonna go here, right? Enter time signature change. We're gonna do four, four now. Boom, bring the build back, and that's it. Now, as you can see, the song starts off in three, four, right? Started from the beginning, goes all the way, goes to four, four, and let's say if I wanna do another change, let's say I wanna have an interlude that goes back to three, four, I can always go, say to here, for example. I can make this any time signature that I want. You know, if I wanna do six, eight, for example, I can do that. If I wanna do some weird one, 15, eight. So, there we go, it's that easy.